Today I am going to show you how to add in your Genesis responsive slider to one of our themes. Um, you want to start by going to your WordPress dashboard. And I have already installed the plugin, so you'll need to install the Genesis Responsive Slider plugin. So go ahead and do that and activate it. And once you have done that, then we can start adding in our images. So the first step is to add in um, some pages that we want um, that will have the featured post set as our slider images. So the first step is to make a new page. And I'm going to call this one slider number one. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to leave the content blank because all I need it for is to just add um, a featured image here. So I scroll down to the right and I click on set featured image. And I've already uploaded some pictures that I'll be using for my slider. They aren't actually pictures, but <laughs> bear with me here. Um, so you can see here that I have uploaded my picture um, and it is the exact dimension that the slider requires. So um, if you purchase one of our themes, there is generally going to be a recommended slider size. And in case of the Zinnia theme, which is the one I'm using right now, the recommended size is 960 pixels wide by 325 pixels tall. So you can see right here that is the size that I made my image and uploaded it. So um, you'll want to do that and then upload your images and then select the first one and click set featured image. Um, and then publish that and click on add a new page and add your second slider image page again leaving the content blank and just setting the featured image for the next picture and you'll want to do that do this step for every picture that you have um, chances are you will probably have more than two but for the purpose of this tutorial I am only going to upload two so the next step is to add these in your Genesis responsive slider so you'll want to go to Genesis and slider settings and I like to open this in a new tab because it's easier to work with. Um, here there are a bunch of settings on this page. Um, I typically go down here, scroll a little bit and set these up first and then we can select what slides we want to show. So I typically leave this how it is. You can play around with it. Um, this, the maximum slider width is going to be the same um, width and height that you set your images to. So again, for this theme, it's 960 pixels wide by 325 pixels tall. Um, I uncheck all of this because it's not really necessary and isn't supported with our theme. Um, I usually click that and I don't like to display any content in the slider. So you can click on save after you've gone through those settings. Now the second step here is to add in our um, pages that we just made. So this is where it gets a little tricky but bear with me here. So the way I had you just set it up, you set up pages. So you will want to change the type of content to page. Now you can scroll down here and you want to select include because we are going to include the post IDs of those pages that you want to add. And you may be thinking, okay, how do I figure out what the post ID is? Well, you'll need to go back to this tab and you can see here on um, my page I have slider number two and then um, post ID right up in my URL bar says post equals 13 so that's going to be my post ID number so I want to go back to this page and include that post ID in this box and then I want to put a comma and then I have to go back and find the post ID for it, the first slider image I uploaded so just go back to all pages and slider number one and click edit and you can see up here the ID of this 
um, page is post ID number 11. So I'll go back and add 11 here. And you'll want to do that for each slider um, image or page that you have set up. And you can change the number of how many you want, the sl how many slides you have here. So I'll put two here. All right, now go up and save settings because I'm done here. Now the last step that you'll need to do is show, um, or um, excuse me, tell, um, tell your, <laughs> add it to your widgets area. So go to appearance and widgets, and you have a bunch of different widget areas here for the Zinnia theme. Um, you want to add the responsive slider to the responsive slider area. So just drag and drop that here, and save it. Okay, and once you've done that, you can go back and refresh on your home page. And you'll see we have the slider images added right here. And it's working perfectly.